everybody, Dr. Eagles here from SFN Online, and of course, your host of the Growth Show. Today's video, kind of weird doing it this early, uh, but we're going to do a um, 2021 Six Flags New England prediction video. Uh, someone had, uh, or more than one person has suggested, hey, do one now, do one like in the middle of next year, and then do one, you know, like closer to, um, what do you call it, uh, announcement time because I did one like January February wherever it was and then I did one closer to uh, so we're gonna try three we're gonna do one now uh, and then you know so on you know a little bit later and then a little bit later so uh, let's get into what I think is coming in 2021 all right so before we dive in exactly what I think uh, I'm starting to see a pattern here within this park anyway uh, and then we'll do like a full company-wide prediction another time. But uh, I want to keep this thought in mind just as things have been happening. So if you think about all the major renovations to the park that have been happening over, say, within the last 10 years. So you, you had that, you know, uh, the North End. You know, you had uh, Sky Screamer. You had Wicked Cyclone come in. And then, like, they were adding lighting and stuff for Pandemonium. And they had that all done. Then they moved into the Rockville area. So they started prettying up that area. You had Fireball, right? Uh, and the same year the Fireball happened, you had Superman VR. So they were getting that area primed and ready for the future. You know, bring back Superman, get rid of Bizarro. And, you know, I think it was 2016. 2015, 2016. Hey, 2016, because 2015 was Wicked Cyclone. So... They bring back Superman the ride. That's the start. Repaint the ride, everything. Then all of a sudden they start working on what became Gotham City. So then you got the Joker, uh, 4D Coast. You got Harley Quinn. They had the Riddler. You know, minor race had gone into uh, the Riddler. And then, you know, the whole area was just now renamed to Gotham City. So there's only two realistically... You know, and then now that, they, you know, like this year they did Cyborg, right? Next year is going to be Supergirl. And they're going to revamp the area to call it uh, DC Universe, right? So now after all this is done after next year, so 2021 rolls around. There's only two areas of the park that technically need work. There's the water park and there's Crack Axle Canyon, that whole area. So this is what I think is going to happen. I think 2021... And, this is, and then we're going to do a little bit more predicting of beyond 2021, but not, I don't know exactly for years and stuff to happen. Uh, but 2021, I really feel, feel is the water park uh, upgrade, and I'm going to tell you why. The last time we had anything to do with water park updates was 2013 when they had a Bonsai Pipeline. So by the time that we hit 2021, uh, you, you're running into uh, what? Uh, so two thousand. I'm bad with math right now. So the seven. You'd be eight years. Yeah. So you'd be eight years. Nothing in the water park. Eight years. That's a long time. Uh, especially because the water park is so popular. It's always busy. It's always hitting capacity. Especially on nice days. And it's crazy. So, for those that remember, December of last year, before the end of the year, they went before the town and they had this whole uh, thing that they had approved by the town. Now everybody knows the plans changed. They might not even be doing that anymore. But uh, I think 2021 is definitely going to be the water park year. I thought you were going to get uh, Supergirl in that water park expansion, but that's not the case. So I think what's going to happen is you're going to get those pools, the cabanas, the, the changing station, the outdoor showers, and stuff like that. You're going to get that. But I think they're going to amp it up just a tiny bit more. And I think beyond that little uh, area of the Bonsai Beach area getting redone, I think you're going to see another kind of slide come in. Now, is it going to be in that area? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But what I think what they might do is add something over there. Then I think if they add another slide in that area, uh, you're probably looking at something like a mat racer. Uh, if not, I could see the Swiss Family Robinson uh, slide complex coming down. I think kind of looks ratty and old and they're having tons of issues with it. Uh, you could, one, get another type, like the newer type of water coasters. You can get rid of Typhoon and put it over there. You get some type of new bowl slide. You could put the mat racer slide over there. Um, so 2021, I think, is going to be water park. I think you're going to see what they went to the town for, and then I think you're going to get a little added bonus. 
You know what I'm saying? I think you're going to get a little bit of water park. Now, I know all, I know everybody's kind of like, no, I want a roller coaster. I want something good. We've been getting spinny rides, and I don't want spinny rides. I get it, but don't forget, us as enthusiasts are not the demographic they're marketing for. It's the general public. So you look at what the needs of the park, not what, I mean, we all have a wish list. I got a wish list. I'm not knocking you, and I know you're not knocking me. You got to think of what the park needs, not wants. I'm sure the park wants a big giant roller coaster, but what the needs are says otherwise. So I think your roller coaster is going to come in 2022. And what I mean by that is uh, pay attention to Goliath for the end of next year. And what I mean by that is they may not open it for 2021 or close it at the end. I mean, of 2020. So, be looking 2020, 2021. I think what's going to happen is Goliath's going to go. Uh, just because, you know, if, if you watched the last video that I made uh, when I went on announcement day and I rode Goliath, and if you've seen it, and I know some of you haven't seen it, and shame on you if you haven't seen it. But for those that didn't know what I'm talking about, but. I wanted to come out with the tools and take the ride down myself. It, it's time to get rid of it. It's just so painful. I wrote it so people who haven't don't have to ride it. And those that were thinking about it, you don't have to ride it anymore. It is painful. It's a piece of junk. I hate. To, I I really hate to talk bad about rides. That's not. I, I try to keep the positivity, but the positivity is get rid of the ride and put something new there. So I think if you do, you're gonna get a revamp of Crack Axle Canyon. And I think they're going to start copying like some of the other parks are doing. They're going to get rid of that old western town and move it more towards the steampunk era, which I'm okay with. I mean, most kids today, they don't give a crap about, you know, cowboys and Indians. It's all about what's cool, spaceships, aliens. Steampunk is like one of these things that are coming into play now. Uh, I can see that happening. And the net, once that happens, they're not going to do it right away. But the names are going to fit the steampunk, and the rides are going to look the part of the steampunk. And I think that they will probably add like uh, some type of launch coaster, you know, like a like a, a, a Max uh, Force there clone, maybe an RMC Raptor. It's going to be something along those lines. It's going to go right into that spot, and you're going to start seeing a revamp of the area, and just a changeover. And don't be surprised if over in the future you see Houdini go. Tomahawk go. Rodeo either go or get rethemed. Uh, I just see like a whole new uh, thing happening. And I think if Houdini goes, I think up in that area you'll get another roller coaster because there's room for it. Well, if they move the maintenance building somewhere else. But uh, I could see another roller coaster up in that area, like a family one, not a huge thing. I see a family type coaster coming. I also see a legit dark ride, like shoot 'em up kind of thing, but not to a main theme, not like Justice League. It would be generic theme to the area. I could see that happening. I could see him putting in a coaster, adding some different types of flats, maybe getting a, a, one of those Zapparella air races, but uh, not to get too far, of course. I think that's the future, and we'll talk about that in another video. But uh, 2021, I think that water park expansion is coming, and then 2022, you're going to see a roller coaster. Anyways, I'm getting out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button. Uh, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Do you agree with me or do you think I'm stupid? Uh, do you think I'm off? Do you think I'm on point? Let me know down in the comments down below. Let's continue this conversation amongst all of us. And uh, I will see you guys soon. So until next time, everybody, keep on coasting, y'all. Peace.